all right guys welcome back in this video we are going to be learning about the radio button and the checkbox and how to use them so let me just drag them on the screen expand them a little bit and this video is going to be pretty pretty easy and the reason that i've added radio button and checkbox together is because they use the same method so if you learn one of them you basically learn both of them now we have added both of the widgets and now we need to add buttons for both of them so let's add a push button for one and the push button for another one and let's change this to uh, radio and let's change this to a uh, checkbox let's just write check and if you see on the right hand side the variable name is push button and for the checkbox is push under button underscore two you can change it if you want but this is such a small example that i don't need to change it and you can have a look at the properties of uh, these buttons this radio button and the checkbox so if you want it checked by default for example if you want this radio button to be checked you can just click on this it will be checked by default and the same thing is true with our checkbox you can just click on checked and they will be checked by default so let's actually make sure that our radio button is checked by default and checkbox we'll just leave as it is now i've already converted this ui file to a python file so let's actually have a look at the python file that we have converted so this is our python file with our radio button over here and you can see that it says self dot radio button set checked is true that means by default we want our radio button to be pressed and we don't want it to be pressed in our checkbox our checkbox is here and this is the push button for our radio and this is the push button push button underscore two for our checkbox Let's actually just run it and see how it looks currently so i'm just going to run it and you can see that the radio button is clicked by default if you want to change it inside your code if you don't want to go back inside pyqt what you can do is you can just remove this set check from here and let's run it again and you'll be able to see that the default is gone so there are two basic methods that you need to remember in radio check and the checkbox that is the first method is very simple that is set checked whenever you want it to be set by default you need to use set checked and if you want to check whether a radio button or checkbox is checked or not whether tick or not you can use a method known as is checked so now we are going to learn about that first we need to connect our buttons with our radio button and our checkbox so we are just going to write our simple self dot radio button dot clicked let me just actually close this one dot clicked dot connect simple stuff and self dot we're just going to call it check underscore radio we haven't created this method we are just going to create that in a second so now we are just going to copy this and paste it again and actually this is not the radio button we need to make sure that we connect our push button to our radio button so let's actually go over here and select this push button from here and copy and paste this over here and we are going to do the same thing for our push underscore two so whenever our push underscore two is checked is clicked we need to call a method known as check underscore checkbox so now let's, let's actually create these both methods so i'm just going to go over here create a method and call it check underscore radio and it's going to take a parameter of self and then inside that first of all let's just write pass and uh, create the second method so i'm just going to copy this paste it again and instead of that, I'm just going to copy this checkbox, paste it over here. Now let's go inside radio and find out whether our radio button is clicked or not. So we are going to use an if else condition for that. We are just going to write if our radio button. So you can see that our variable name is radio button over here. So we are going to use that. So if our radio button dot is checked. So we are just going to write checked over here and make sure to add a self over here. That is not going to work. It's checked and uh, if it's checked and it's equals to true that means if it's checked then we are just gonna print out something like um, radio selected and we're gonna do the same thing for our uh, checkbox but let's actually add also the else condition over here and we're gonna write print radio is selected so radio deselected and we're going to basically do the same thing for our checkbox it uses the same methods like the radio button so we are also going to use this if else condition inside over here and instead of the radio button we are going to be using our checkbox variable so i'm just going to copy that and paste it over here instead of the radio button and this time instead of this we are just going to write checkbox selected and checkbox deselected so let's actually run it and see if it works so you can see that a radio button is over here and checkbox is over here so now let's click on radio and you can see that the radio is selected if we click on it again and then click on radio you can see that the radio has been deselected and similarly for the checkbox currently it's selected and if we untick it and click on check it said checkbox deselected 
So guys, this is pretty much it for a very, very simple widgets. And we have basically covered all the widgets that are on the right hand side, on the left hand side of the Spy QT5 or mostly the main ones. Now you'll be able to create any GUI very, very quickly. And that's basically the aim of using Pi QT5 is to get stuff done very, very quickly. Now in the next video, we also need to learn how to convert this Pi QT file. So currently we are using Python files, but when you are sending them to customers, you don't want them to run Python files. You probably want them to run an executable file. So that's why we are going to learn how to convert our Python file to an executable file in the next video. It's very important. So I'll see you over there.